Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, hopefully everybody is having a great day. Today is a challenging day for us. We've been having a lot of challenging days recently. Uh, so it was supposed to snow. And it's, it's snowing. Well, it's kind of sleeting. I'm gonna call I don't it know. snow. I guess it's snow. We're supposed to have a, a little bit. It kind of looks like tiny little hail balls. But I knew better. I mean, I knew better that we were gonna get snow because it was like 61 degrees yesterday. We did get a lot of rain. And we're gonna start our adventure off today here in Greenbrier, here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Now, the park is pretty much closed. 411 going up and over to Cherokee is closed. The road going to Ramsey's Cascades is closed. Um, Kate's Cove could be open though, but that's all the way on the other side of the park. And I think we're gonna take some back roads in this area and just see what's new, see if we can find some. There's a nice little covered bridge just up the road. Maybe we'll, we'll check that out, right? We'll check that little covered bridge and we'll see what we can see today. Now, we still have a chance of getting a little bit of snow later on tonight. So maybe all of a sudden it'll start snowing. <laughs> you ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's a little gloomy, it's a little cold. Mm -hmm. Some powerful storms come through yesterday and they shut a lot of the national park down uh, because of the storms. And over here is one of my favorite places to film, uh, especially here in Greenbrier. It's literally right off uh, 321 here. And this is usually a little beach here. You can, you can sit here, but the water is it's quite high today. I think we can climb a little bit over uh, what, I, what I call the Martian surface. And there's nothing like the Great Smoky Mountains. And this is a, one of those unique areas. A lot of photographers come here and get their photos We have a video in our library where we swam here, remember? Mm -hmm. I swam around just over there. I wouldn't want to swim today, though. No, I don't think so. It's too cold. <laughs> it's too and cold. The, the water's full. Yeah, it's, it's angry today. We're gonna head out of here. We're gonna head over to Pittman Center area. We're gonna take a look at that covered bridge over there. And then we're gonna see if we can find like maybe any, I don't know, roadside gems, something like that. You ready, Don? Are you ready for a little road trip, old yeller? Okay, here we go. So we just turned on to Pittman Center Road. This here is the Greenbrier campground. It's got full hookups and everything you need. It's a really nice campground. So we're over here at Hills Creek Road. And cover bridge is a 9.6 clearance. And there it is. So we're here at Emirates Cove Bridge. It's a newer bridge. It was just built a few years ago. Kind of like a tourist attraction. Emirates Covered Bridge was constructed in the year 2000. Walking through the covered bridge. <laughs> this is awesome. You can walk through the covered bridge. You got a little walkway. Unlike the Harrisburg, which you got to kind of like, <laughs> you got to be careful. Well, if you see a car's coming, you got to run. Yeah, you got to run if you see a car coming, right? Or if you hear them coming at that. 
Yeah, so this was built in 2000, um, you know, to beautify the community, uh, to give like a focal point to um, Pittman Center area. And, and like I said, there's only two parking spaces. I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, you can't park anywhere around here. In fact, a lot of the property owners are pretty adamant about, you know, not parking and stuff in here and but it's a it's a nice little place to visit and it's pretty busy and there's a lot of folks there's about six or seven cars already that uh have come out here or we're looking or been looking at the bridge since we've been here so this bridge was named in honor of Frederick Emerit who came here with his family in 1790 and as the area's first settler in 1997, under the leadership of Mayor Judy Perryman, the mayor and board aldermen provided local funds to go with the state and federal money. In the spring of 2000, the bridge was constructed by a team of Steve McCarter and Gary Schultz. I've taken this photo many of times. That old Chevy pickup, that old barn. A fun little bridge. I absolutely love it. I would like to see more of these in the area. That'd be be fun. A lot of folks do come out and visit. And there is a lineup of vehicles. If you didn't read the signs, you think this bridge has been here forever. And yet again, there is plenty of no parking signs everywhere on both sides of the road. And these are the only two parking spots that are here. So we're gonna do a little back road driving now. I think we're gonna head out towards Cosby and just see if we come across some old barns, maybe, you know, some hidden gems. Oh, vintage and variety. It's got a lot going on. It's it's busy. We've been by this place many of times. Little antique store here. Well, it's got some some cool stuff in there. Kind of a fun little store you come across. Look at that little blue stove with the legs. Or is that like firewood oh, maybe? It's kind of like a little like a little heater stove. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can see a little bit of snow on top of the mountains up there. Looks like about maybe 3,000 feet and higher. And we're here in Cosby now. A Mountain View ice cream and pizza. Yeah, looks like it's closed. A lot of the places here are gonna be closed this time of year. They have cosmic teas over there. Oh, here's an old cantilever barn. There's a little mountain farm up here, and we are literally in the middle of nowhere, somewhere out in Cock County. It was gravel for a while, but turned back into a cement road here, or a blacktop. Kind of flooded out. Well, hello down there. What you doing? What was he, like a quarter horse or something? He's got a mule in him, right? Looks like a mule. He's got those ears, you know. Yeah. 
You like living here in the Great Smoky Mountains? Yeah. Well, we'll let you be what you get to what you're getting to. You know, you look like he looks like he's up to no good. He's giving me a dirty look. <laughs> I know, he's like what? Hi. Well hello. Do you know Mr. Ed? And we were talking to your buddy down the road a little ways. It's snowing a little bit. A little general store right off the side of the road here. Yeah, it says trespassing, keep out. But uh, we're, we're just standing on the edge of the road here. And you can tell by the top here, it was a general store. And the doorway, I think there's a sign. Yeah, it says closed on Sundays. I don't know, let me see if I... You can barely make out. Closed on Sundays. And we are out in the middle of nowhere. But at one time, this place was probably a hopping little, little store. And only if that porch could talk. And the folks sitting out there, maybe with a, a bag of tobacco they just bought. Or some provisions. Just on just on the side of the road here. I love finding these little little places. Oh, the barn on top of the hill. Looks like an old like Bronco or or something in it. A little little mountain farm here. The kind you don't really wanna get out and investigate too much. Uh, this area here is is known for moonshine. I did see a moonshine still further back, but there was a crazy dog, wasn't there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think he was liking anybody pulling up on. He wasn't or, having it. Or near his property at all, but you can really see the snow coming down too, uh, as well. It is snowing. Yeah, you want you want to sit on the side of the road in these areas. Oh yeah, the snow is it's coming down. Back here in Sevier County. We're here at Sunset Gap. This, I think this is a school up here. We've been here before, Don. I think so. Yeah. I think I videoed it. Yeah. So we've been here before. So it means we're on the other side of English Mountain. And this place is called Sunset Gap. It was established in 1924, a uh, mission of the Presbyterian Church. Hmm. This was Glenwood School in 1923 and later became Sunset Gap Community Center in 64. So yeah, it was a, it was a school. Pretty impressive. And boy, the snow is coming down. Actually, it's not really snow, it's kind of like hail. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's definitely like little ice balls. And we are in the middle of the mountains. Now there is a little um, church up there. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little little church up there. A little log cabin one at that. Yeah. An old mountain school. Oh boy. <laughs> it's coming down now. Yeah, it's hail. The Jeep is getting getting covered with it. I think it's 
hail balls. It is hail balls. <laughs> now the roads are going to be slick. And we're way up here. Perfect. We're probably at about 3,500 feet. Maybe 3,000 feet or something. So we've gotten lost out here before. <laughs> Remember that? I think there's a little video over on What About Dawn's channel. What a Dawn, Dawn's channel, right? Yeah, we got lost out here. Yeah. I think the video is called Getting Lost or something. I don't know. There's a lot of dogs out here <laughs> and horses at that. The roads are getting kind of slick. Might have to cut this video short. Head back to the house. I think this is another little general store. It's picture perfect. If that doesn't scream mountains. I don't know what does. Huh. We've gotten a lot of rain in the last few days. The rivers are, are starting to fill up. Got this little driveway over here. So this is Mount Olive Baptist Church. A little, little roadside church here. Well, there's a lot going on here. The mailbox looks like a blow dryer. Yeah, I think it's a, like a fort. You know, like a kid's fort or something. Mm -hmm. I think it's called Iris, right? I don't know. Looks interesting, right? <laughs> yeah. It looks different. It definitely looks like something for the kids. Here are some old cabins. The door's ripped open on it. Yeah. It's got a nice little stream running in front of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. A beautiful meadow up here. There's a couple, a couple cows out there grazing. Guarded three nights a week. Guess your night. <laughs> oh boy. We're up here on Shell Mountain and we're looking down on the valley. Wow, it's amazing. I've always liked this area of the Great Smoky Mountains, yeah. And we came up here today to look at a couple pieces of vacant property for ourselves, maybe. We're just we're dreaming. <laughs> That's really what we're doing. We're dreaming, mm -hmm. folks, because if you need to find a lot up here, it's gonna be big dollars but this would be a great dream you can see Douglas Lake over there and that's Sevierville down in there beautiful Sevierville oh. and there's a couple of overnight rentals up here and even on the other side you can take a look at the Cosby area or the Gatlinburg area. So you're up on the ridge here, depending on which side of the mountain you you look on. And we were looking at a couple of the lots up here. It looks like they're getting ready to be, be building another home down in there or another overnight. And they're getting ready to build a, a big cabin there. And that's a lot of block. So that's gonna be one heck of a of a build there. And this is the view on the other side. Look at that. Uh, and it looks like they're getting ready to build another cabin here. And one over there. 
So up here you have two choices of views. You can look at the Great Smoky Mountains, the um, Cosby slash Gatlinburg area, or you can go to the other side and look at Sevierville, right? In the countryside's nice of Sevierville. We sold one of our investments recently up in Michigan and we were looking to possibly reinvest closer to home here in the Great Smoky Mountains. Maybe an overnight cabin or maybe a permanent home. I don't know. I mean, it'd be great to have a permanent home. But the reality is it's very expensive up here. The real estate market is not cheap right now. And these lots are quite expensive. The lots that are for sale in here, you have to use a certain builder. And of course, that could be very costly. But the, the views are amazing. Shell Mountain is, is awesome. Right? Folks, in all reality, you're probably just dreaming because it's probably going to cost pretty close to a million dollars to build up here. A million dollars. And that's, we don't have that, our investment's not that much. <laughs> but uh, it's always great to, to do some dreaming. It wasn't much of a video today. We started off in Greenbrier. And then we headed up to the English Mountain area, the opposite side. And now we're here on top of Shell Mountain, looking down. That's a beautiful view. At Sevierville. And I couldn't think of a better place to end this video, but up here on Shell Mountain. Folks, if you like this vlog, give, give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming adventures. Wouldn't it be great if we did somehow swing a building of a cabin up here as an investment and then we could document it on YouTube, right? Like the building, you know, that'd be crazy. It'd make for good watch. I think I think a lot of folks would watch that. Would you watch that? Put in the comments below. But in all reality, and just being honest with you, it probably won't happen. Guys, we love you. And <laughs> well Dawn laughs. She's like, <laughs> you come on. I mean who doesn't want that, right? <laughs> okay. We love you guys. We'll see you guys in the next Bye, video. Everyone. Bye, everyone. That's cold. <laughs> you know, snow. it doesn't cost nothing to dream, but that's all you'll have is the dream.